Hi, I'm Kurt from Oz Armour and welcome to Workshop Wednesday. Due to popular demand, we've made this episode a little bit longer than usual, so please let us know in the comments if you prefer the longer format. In this special episode, we're taking you on an odyssey with Jesse as he repairs a very badly damaged piece of hull. So without further ado, let's get on with episode three of the Ag Panther. The vehicle this piece was from has been completely blown to smithereens, and this is the only surviving part of the hull. So unfortunately, the rest of this side will need to be fabricated. You can just imagine the intensity of the blast that caused this piece to break away. It's going to take an equal or greater amount of heat, energy and pressure to bend it back to the way it was. So you can kind of see that it's, it's actually not too bad this way. It's pretty flat. So we'll have to try push down here and get this twist out of it. Once the twist out of it, it's not in too bad of shape. Broken through that stiffener too. Completely sheared, sheared it off. The only reason this whole corner hasn't completely blown off is because this, this strengthener, this deflector, is, is still here and it's welded on. This is acting as all the strength currently. This piece of armoured plate is 40 millimetres thick and it's a really awkward part to work with. Pressing anywhere near that final drive protector will be extremely challenging and take a lot of heat. Before we can get started, all of the bolts, bits and pieces will need to be removed. Once all these bolts are out, Jesse has to use a plasma cutter to take off all the old weld. Yesterday I started heating it all up and pressing it, but it's still blown out a little bit where the final drive goes. I've had to cut a heap of relief cuts and heat it up bright red and try clamp it in. We're gonna try heat it up today and stick it in our big 300 ton press, stand it vertical and push, push off the ram 
onto, onto the base of this and see if we can try push it in. If I don't have to cut something, I won't do it. But yeah, sometimes we don't have the choice. As Jesse said, we don't really like cutting into these original pieces. But if it's the difference between using an original part or having to fabricate from new, we will try and make it work no matter what. quite going to plan. That final drive protector is so strong, it's just springing back any part we press. Sometimes you just have to know when to call it. We won't be able to physically move this piece here. We're going to cut through here where the bend starts. I've put a, a line through here and we've done some reference points uh, for joining it back together later. So after we've cut it and, and fixed it up, made it straight, we can Put them back together and we know where, where it's got to go exactly. This piece here is all blown out and broken. There's no way that we can possibly use it. We're going to cut this off, square it up. Same along here. Cut it off all the way over here too. Just square it all up so we can join another plate straight into it. Jesse will cut this piece as neatly as possible so that it can be seamlessly fitted back together later.
bad. I'm happy with that. It's a lot closer than what it was. Um, I'll just check that in here too. It takes a lot of time, but eventually, we get it as close to perfect as we reasonably can. Now for the hard part. Since yesterday, I've had to weld these pieces on. I've had to do a big back cut through here. So once the back cut was done, I've, I've clamped it onto these strong backs and just done a stitch on this side. I've had to also press this piece in because these have spread when it's you know, been blown up. We've had dramas trying to clamp them together. All of our clamps, our stash clamps, nothing's been strong enough. I've had to stand it up and lock it in with our press. So now it's squeezed the gap right in. So it's holding it in place right now. So I'm gonna go through and put a few stitches of welds and then we should be able to let the press off and it should hold it all in position and it should be good to, to weld onto the side now. It is vital to repair this crack properly. If it's just a few millimetres out, it will mean the final drive housing will not fit correctly. Sometimes things just don't work out. And that's all part of the process of restoring tanks. And it's not usually something we vehicle restorers like to show. It just isn't smooth sailing all the time. But with determination and perseverance, the lads always manage to pull through. more work. This original piece will be joined to the fabricated side, ready for blasting and painting. Well that's all we have time for today. Join us next time as we check in with Glenn and Bo as they fit the floor of the Stug 3 to the sides that they put together last week. So until then, I'm Kurt from Oz Armour and I'll see you on the next one.